Okay, for this lesson, we are not going to be using our red book today. We are going to start learning a new song, a real song that's not in the book. So we're going to start by reviewing the scale that we're going to use for this song. So this song is called Power Rock. If you haven't heard it, I'll make sure you get to hear it before um, this lesson is over. But the first thing we're going to do is review our minor scale. So depending on what instrument you play, that will tell you what your minor scale is. So if you're playing bells, flute, or trombone, you are playing your C minor scale. So C, D, E flat, F, and G. If you are playing clarinet or trumpet, you are playing a D minor scale. So figure out which one you are, and that's the one you're going to read. Once you get to the highest note, you go backwards. Notice that, of course, there is one more note on your cheat sheet, right? One more note lower. We don't play that when we are playing our minor scale. So some people got a little confused. They thought minor scale just means five notes. No, minor scale is the sound, the scale that sounds kind of sad. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, for our minor scale today, I'm putting my metronome on quarter note equals 120. So a little bit faster than we've done it before. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, and we're going to do one half note on each of these letters, forwards and backwards. So that means your foot's tapping kind of fast, right? Okay, then we would go. Da, 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 da. Maybe you can even do it in one breath. I don't know. Let's check it out. Remember, a half note is two clicks. Two clicks of the metronome for a half note. All right, so let's try it. One half note for each note of your minor scale. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, play. <laughs> So two quarter notes, that means two clicks. Ta, 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 all the way to your highest note and backwards. Let's try that. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One more time, if you're using uh, your air to play an instrument, a.k.a. not the bells, you need to make sure you're using the tip of your tongue to start and stop the air for every note. Let's try it one more time. Two each. Two quarter notes each. One, two, one, two. Ready, go. Okay, so this is going to be the speed that you record your scale at this week. And we are now ready to check out our first new song, our first real song. Okay, now that we're done with our scale, you need to get this paper that says Power Rock. So there's a couple ways you can get it. Um, I put this in the announcement from the beginning of the week. You need to, it's also in the instructions for this week, you need to try to print a copy of this paper. Um, in the module, there's a version with notes written in and a version without notes written in, depending on what you prefer. I know some people are distracted by the letters and some people really need the letters. Then you need to open that and if you can, please print it so you can write on it. If you don't have a printer or your printer doesn't work, you're gonna have to read off the screen. Okay, so it'd be helpful if you have it open on your screen if you don't have the song printed and if you do have it printed you might want a pencil okay so after you've all those things ready you can follow along with me so when we're looking at a new song obviously this song is not in our book so it's brand new we have to find the end of the song the same way we were doing in our book so we always scroll down so scroll down with me here and look to see where is the double bar 
I see it down there. So let's scroll back up to the top. Okay, and a couple things we need to check when we start a new song. Of course, I see our B flat and our E flat. That's good. Um, four, four times signature. That's good. Okay, and I'm going to ask you how many measures are there, and I'll give you a little clue. You don't have to count all of them separately. Look at the little numbers. Each measure has a little number, and some measures even have a big number in a square. That means something important happens. It also means if I'm conducting you, I do something special there. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. So let's scroll to the end and see if we can see the find the highest measure number. And I see it all the way down here. Some people said, oh, it's 45. But look, it keeps going. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 measures. Okay, so we wouldn't, when we're playing the whole song straight through, we don't stop till we get to measure 54. So let's go back to the top. I see that in measures one, two, three, and four, you play nothing. That doesn't mean you skip those measures. It literally means you, these are, remember, these are whole rests. You count to four for every time you see one of these things. So it's like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and then you would play. Here's the deal. Not everybody's paper has blank measures here. If uh, people who are playing flute, clarinet, and bells are doing something while you're counting. Because brass section has a solo at measure five. Do you remember who's in the brass section besides you guys? It's trombones and trumpets. So if you have your paper, put your finger on measure five. Measure five is a square. So that tells me as the conductor to do something, but also a new part starts. Let's say the notes from measure five to measure 13. So that means we got to say five, six, seven, eight, next line, nine, 10, 11, even the rest in 12, and then we stop at 13. So let's say this notes. I'll move the cursor, but you can be pointing with your finger, or if you need them written in, obviously, if you have a paper, you can write them in. Let's say the notes starting at measure five. One, two, say the notes. E flat, D. C, B flat, C, C, rest, 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 to the next line, go. E flat, D, C, B flat, C, C, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we're at 13 when we stop. So if I say we're going five to 13, that means we start at five, and when you get to the second number, when you get to 13, you can stop. You don't have to play 13. So let's just um, review the slide positions um, for measure five. So I'm just going to say the positions. It's the same pattern twice, right? So let's just get our positions going for measure five. We have three, four, six, one, six, six. Okay. So three, four, six, one, six, six, if you want to write that in. And also, we're going to notice there's a lot of six in this song because we are in the key of C minor. Okay, when we play this, I am putting my trusty metronome. Well, we don't need to use the metronome. But that's how I'm going to count us off. Like E flat, D, C, B flat, C, C. That's like this the speed the sound actually the song actually goes we don't have to go that fast right now so let's give it a try we're hey right, by the way right now we are starting at measure five so don't worry about the the resting measures we're going to start right at measure five okay and then we will do e flat d c b flat c c so if you want to work out those slide positions you can pause and do that i'm going to make sure my slides unlocked Okay, let's get a foot check and a back check. All right, I have my third position ready. And here we go. We'll go a little slower than the metronome. One, two, measure five. <laughs> you guys are playing it 
We will, we will rock you. Obviously, it's going to go a little faster, but we're just learning it. So maybe that will help your ears tell you if your lips are too low. If it's like, blah, blah, we will rock you. Then your lips weren't tight enough for E flat and D, okay? You are going to record for me measures 5 to 13. Super easy this week. Okay, if you get excited, that's fine. Make the make the recording nice and short, measures 5 to 13, and then you can look ahead if you'd like to see how the rest of the song goes, but we're going to get a good recording of measure 5 to measure 13. And before we do that, let's go back to the beginning and just count through the rests and play. So it's like we are literally starting at measure 1. When the other instruments are playing with us, you will hear them doing something. Right now, we just have to count our measures. One, two, three, and four, and we play at measure five. So let's do it. We're starting at measure one with the rests. So I will still have my slide set in third position because that's the first note I play. Let's count it out. Here we go. One, two, ready, count. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four. Here is measure five. Please set your slide for measure nine now. Three, four, one, two, ready, go. Well, actually, ready, stop, right? We're going to do something at 13, and we'll talk about that next week. So I can't wait to hear your videos of measure five to measure 13 in Power Rock.